Fall is one of my favorite times of the year. This time of year seems to be a little more colorful, a little more cozier, and definitely a little more comfy. It makes me think of falling in love, binging Netflix series, and eating tons of soup. Although it's not quite the weekend yet, I just wanted to check in and ask, what is your favorite thing about fall? It could be anything from the leaves changing to cozying up with your favorite book. Now, let's get on with the fall haul. This is my outfit of the day today. I wanted to be cute, but I also wanted to be very functional because I am running errands today, so I do have to like run around, so I did want to wear my little Nike Nikes because I, I just, I gotta choose function over form sometimes. That's just how it is. And then I did my hair today in a ponytail because normally when I'm going to the store to try things on, I'll have my hair down and it's just an, an immediate regret. So that's why it's up in a pony today. This is it. These jeans are from American Eagle. I can't remember where I got this top from. I'm going to say TJ Maxx. I got this from TJ Maxx as well. Let's go. It is such a beautiful fall morning. And I knew this week was going to be like a really autumn-y feel, feeling week because of the weather. But it really is like the perfect fall week. We've had a couple days where there weren't any clouds in the sky at all and it was just clear and crisp and wonderful. Yesterday we got some much needed rain. It I don't think we'd had a hard like rainstorm in I don't know, like a month. I think more than a month. I think it's been a while. Like I I, I know we've gotten sprinkles here and there, but it hasn't been an actual rain storm in a while. So that was nice to feel like super cozy and, you know, wear, put your hoodie on. So right now, we are on our way. When I say we, I mean me. <laughs> right now I'm on my way to pick up some party favors for my friend Caitlin. Her baby shower is on Sunday. So by the time you see this, this will be in the past. <laughs> so it's okay if I show you what they look like. And I think we are going to go to TJ Maxx, try on a little folly like sweaters and puffy cozy things. Oh, and then I think I want to go to Bath and Body Works and get a couple of candles because we started burning. I, I told you I wasn't going to start burning that one candle or the two fall candles until the first day of autumn. I started burning one and I know by the time Thanksgiving rolls around I'm going to need another one. They're having a sale today where it's buy two candles, get two free. And combined with that, they're also doing a $10 off of $30. So we'll go see if I find any sense. But first, you guessed it. We need some coffee. a small cinnamon sugar pumpkin um, latte. Small cinnamon sugar pumpkin ice latte. Um, could I get it hot, please? Hot, okay. And could I get half of the pumpkin flavor? Small cinnamon pumpkin hot latte, extra pumpkin? No, 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 like less okay. pumpkin flavor. Less pumpkin. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You too. 
they're always so nice at this location. Always. They've given me like extra things. They're just so polite. Everybody's just so nice here. Dunkin' Donuts, Forest Hill, what up? You guys are awesome. Okay, so look how tiny this is. <laughs> so tiny. So this is the cinnamon sugar pumpkin latte, and it is hot. And it is probably very hot. I probably can't even drink this until we get to the TJ Maxx parking lot, to be quite honest, because I will burn myself. And then I got half of the pumpkin flavoring because I find that I am not a huge fan. I'm not, oh God, I'm not a huge fan of pumpkin flavoring. Not for me, bro. Not for me. Are you a peppermint mocha kind of person? Is that what you like? I don't know. Caramel? Caramel? Apple? Cinnamon? I love cinnamon. Brad loves cinnamon too. So, here it is. Look how cute it is. I got the PDF off of Etsy and then Heather is going to find like a one and a half inch hole punch. And then Caitlin's mom got a bunch of lip balms, EOS lip balms, that we're going to just stick in there to kind of have uh, like a 3D effect. So, yeah. How cute are we? This is really weird. Okay. I needed some clouds. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm going to run into TJ Maxx. I am not going to bring the camera with me because I would, I don't know, I feel weird about it. But, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And there are like a lot of people here. Right. First up was TJ Maxx, and I really strictly just looked at the clothes for this, and specifically it was the tops and the sweaters. So I picked out six different things, yeah, just to try on. This was my shirt that I was wearing under my sweater. <laughs> this is the first piece that I picked out. It was an Adidas cropped hoodie, and it was $29.99, and you could tell I feel pretty good in this. It was super comfy, it had a lot of room, and it just made me feel nice and cozy. The next sweater that I tried on was this longer um, sweater that was $29.99 as well. And eh, it was all right, it was all right. I wasn't a fan of the color. The cut and the length was okay, but the color was not for me, I think, so I didn't get it. The next sweater I tried on, it was a lighter weight, so I would probably wear something underneath of it just for a little extra coverage. But again, the color, it wasn't for me. And I, I tried to tuck it in, I tried to untuck it, I was trying to envision myself with leggings, and just it wasn't doing it for me. So, no. On to the next. This, it was a disaster. It was lumpy and frumpy, and you know, you could be cute with certain angles or whatever, but it just wasn't, I mean, it was cozy, but it wasn't it for me, I don't think. So I didn't get it. Nope. Don't let that face fool you. I didn't get it. No, sir. This one was a Lucky Brand shirt. I think this was also $29.99. This is me trying, <laughs> struggling, tucking my pants in or tucking my shirt in with one hand. It was okay. It fit really well. I didn't have like the weird, you know, if you have like bigger boobs, sometimes you'll get like that keyhole situation with the buttons, they'll like start pulling. I didn't get that, which was really nice. It was cute. But I have so many flannels that I uh, don't let, again, don't let that face fool you. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Nope. I'm a liar. And this is the last one. And it was a definite no on all fronts. Cut, color, everything. Well, <laughs> that was completely unsuccessful in the way of me finding anything fall related, like at all. I tried on six different things and I came out only getting the Adidas hoodie that I already have in white 
but like it's such a good deal it's more than half off because um, I think MSRP for that is like 65 or like $70 um, and I've actually seen it in stores at that price I think at Urban Outfitters it's they're like stupid expensive but it was 30 bucks so I got that and I got a bag for Caitlin's baby shower gifts and I got a tote I've been wanting a nice big tote so I can put all of my vlog equipment in um, notebooks all that kind of stuff I love crossbody bags um, I think they're convenient I think they're easy and small and I just like them the best but I think I needed a tote in my life. But yeah, so let's go to Bath Body Works. Next, I went to Bath and Body Works in the mall and they had so many scents. It was so crazy. Their setups were super cute and I ended up getting four candles. And there they are. That was so much more successful than my sweater adventure. All right, I'll show you what I got. Okay, we're back at my house. And I'm sorry for this background situation. This is just a short little quick video and I just wanted to share with you what I got. So, from TJ Maxx, I ended up, I tried on six or seven different things and I only came out with one. So I ended up getting this cropped Adidas hoodie, so it's got a little hood, and then it has the Adidas logo. I'm also sorry about like the lighting in here, but it's just natural lighting, so there's like, there's a plant right above here, so it brings in a lot of speckled light. But anyways, so I got this hoodie, and it's got this embroidered Adidas situation. Um, originally $60, but I got it for $30, so like half off. Yay! And then I got this fun little tote. I am not sure who even makes it, but oh, it's seven days, but it is vegan leather. And it's a good size tote, so it'll fit. This is what I was talking about. Like, I have ones that are like these straps are very short, so I can't get them all over my shoulder. But this is like, it's nice and like a over the shoulder kind of bag situation so I really am into this and it's got like tons of room tons of room in here and it's got like a little pocket for my phone and for you know my wallet or whatever and then it's got the zippered pocket inside too so that is this next I went to Bath and Body Works because they were having a sale they, it was get any of their candles, it's two for two. So get two, get two free. And then on top of that, they gave me a coupon in my email where it was $10 off of $30. So I ended up getting this candle, it's a sweater weather. Showing candles is so weird because I don't know how to describe this. It's like a teak wood mahogany type, but I'm really just a sucker for the, the artwork on here. I have two other candles that the artwork is very, very similar. And I love it. And then I got this flannel one. Whenever I see a hedgehog, it reminds me of two things. Either Brad, because when I first met Brad, he like loved hedgehogs. I mean, he still does. And my friend Shannon, who has a hedgehog named Rosie. Oh my god, and this one smells so good too. I don't know how to describe it. It's just... It just makes me feel like I'm wearing a flannel. I don't know. It's autumny and delicious and I love it. Okay, so those were the two that I paid for. And then this is more of a Christmassy type smell. This is the spiced apple toddy. Look how cute she is. So I'll be putting her out come Christmas time. So it's ap apple spice. So it's like apple and cinnamon and clove and all those delicious winter flavors that we love. And then this 
last one is so out of my comfort zone, but last time Brad and I were there, um, we both smelled this and we both agreed that it was pretty magnificent. I'm usually a teakwood mahogany tobacco cigar kind of like musky manly smell kind of gal when it comes to the candles. I am not a vanilla or like pecan or like sweet smelling candle person at all whatsoever. Unless it's like apple spice, I do not like like cake flavored or smelling anything. So we got blueberry maple pancake. This smells so good. It smells just like blueberry maple. It is phenomenal and I'm so excited to burn this come Christmas time. So good. That and the artwork is pretty dope. Also, I love their lids. Their lids are so cool. I have this this lid right here. It's probably pretty hard to see because you're going to just see your reflection. And then this lid, it's kind of like a bronzy type lid with like little Christmas trees. And then this lid. And then the other lid is the same one as the last one that I showed you. But like how fun is that? Any hoodly doodle. That was just like a small little fall haul video that I wanted to do. Just in between the long fun videos. Just so you can see what I'm doing, you know. What I'm doing during the week. I mean, I know that this is a weekend thing, but like, what's up? Hi, weekday people. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you like and subscribe. If you're into that, you don't have to if you hated it. So what makes you guys feel cozy during the fall time? Is it, you know, sweaters, PJs, candles, hot tea, some kind of food? It could be anything. Reading a book, the fireplace, absolutely anything. I want to know. Alright guys, until next time, peace!